Balboa Park is one of San Diego's most iconic spots, but someone is defacing the area around it. Tonight, 10 News reporter John Horn has the one big clue that could help put this tagger behind bars. You guys ready? Every time Alex Morrison steps into Balboa Park, the memories come rushing back. My mom would, would pull over and park and she would blast music when we were, me and my brother, were like four and five years old and we used to dance. She now lives in New York and today came back with her family all grown up. It's just beautiful. It's clean. There's a big grass area, which you don't get in a lot of, a lot of parks. So it's good to run around. It's good to play. It's good to bring friends. So it's just, it has the best of all worlds. But when Morrison looked across the street, the picture wasn't so perfect. Oh, graffiti. Someone's been tagging the west side of 6th Avenue directly across from the park with a familiar sign, GSA. It's on bike signs, light poles, but mostly around the construction site for the park at Bankers Hill condo project. I wish graffiti wasn't there. This It kind of takes away the identity of the park a little bit. And those who live around the park may be closer to finding the identity of the person tagging the neighborhood. One woman on a nextdoor.com thread says she got pictures of him and his license plate when he got into his car. And if that didn't send a clear message, Morrison has one. Please don't graffiti around this park. I mean, this is a place that's been here for a long time. It represents a lot of things to people like it does for me where I grew up here. But one thing it doesn't represent, GSA. John Horn, 10 News. San Diego police are asking for any information and also pictures of the tagging. A spokesperson telling us that those pictures and, of course, the information crucial to helping to solve any graffiti cases.